Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we have one of the best video ideas I think I've ever had before in my life. So, as you guys know, Black Ops 3 is out and these consoles, like I said before in another video, are probably going to be going soon because of 4K and that got me kind of thinking of a great video topic. So, as you guys know, what makes PC good is that it's all modular parts. If you need a new graphics card, you get a new graphics card if you need more ram you get a new ram that's what makes gaming pcs last forever now later later in the week maybe i'm gonna be building a gaming pc for you guys yes i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna show you all the parts i think my first build is gonna be i'm gonna try to keep it at a thousand dollars or right under a thousand dollars now i know that sounds like a lot but as you guys know, if you've seen any gameplay on Black Ops 3 or you've tried to play Black Ops 3 on your PC, then you know Black Ops 3 is a very, very demanding game. And if you are ready for the mods that are going to be coming out March of 2016 or possibly May, not too sure on what date, you're going to want a computer that is going to last you through the entire game, which is looking to be about 10 to 15 years of custom zombies. Guys, this is insane. Plus, that PC will last you longer than that. And if new stuff comes out, like I said, modular, you pop one thing out and you put another thing in, but that's not what we're going to be talking about today. What we're we're going to be talking about today is building your own console now i want all of you watching this to comment exactly what i comment but make your own and whoever has the best custom built console at the end of a week will be featured on the show or on the, my channel i'll shout you guys out whether it be your youtube social media whatever it is you will win a great shout out plus i'll be telling everyone your build now i have my build right here what i would like to see in the next console basically it's just kind of like a build your own console and i'm, I'm going to be talking about the xbox one but all of these stats will be able to go over to the playstation or possibly wii so let's get right into it like i said watch this part come up with your own parts maybe i missed something that you would like to see or maybe this thing is perfect just let me know down below i love reading comments so let's get into this. The first thing that I want to see in the next console is complete backwards compatibility. As in, like I said, talking about the Xbox, I want to stick an Xbox original disc in and play Xbox original. I want to stick a 360 disc in and play the 360. And I want to stick an Xbox One disc in and play Xbox One games on this new console. I don't think that's too hard to do because of all these other specs I'm laying out here. And I, if they had that, wow, that would be a killer console. That would be something everyone wanted to have whether you want a new xbox original and a 360 and an xbox one and the newest console this would be your first starter console and it would be going crazy you know you could play anything you wanted from the family so that's my first thing the next thing is an upgradable graphics card now the one stock the flagship that i want to see is something that can set out 4k with a solid 60 frames per second that syncs every frame so there's no tearing it's 4k in 60 frames or even 120 frames although i wish you know that sounds kind of ridiculous but i do want that and i want it to be upgradable because let's say more games come out and you know it's getting to the point where that console is like the xbox one is starting to look old instead of having to go out and buy a new console Xbox or Microsoft or PlayStation would release a graphics card that could play those new games. You know what I'm talking about? This is a future proof console I'm making here. So the next thing, four terabyte SSD. I think that should be standard. And if not an SSD, then definitely a hybrid drive. I think four terabytes is not a lot to ask because you have to install every game. And with complete backwards compatibility, four terabytes is what you would need. Plus, I would like that to be expandable too. So have an open slot on the inside. Like, let's just imagine two little bricks, like, or two, one brick, and then an empty place for another brick. You have your original four terabyte. And if you wanted to get another one, you would stick another one in and it would like raid the two drives together so you could have like 10 terabytes, whatever you guys need, you know, you can just upgrade to whatever you personally need. Next up, first party USB headsets, which include chat. I'm tired of them having a controller that plays just standard 2.1 um, audio through it. 
that comes with chat i think that's ridiculous i hate cables i wish there was a usb that i could plug into the back and everything would be good i could talk i could listen to the game it would be 7.1 surround sound i think that needs to happen and i would like to see it next up and also with that i would like to see more usb slots i think the xbox one only has three and that's just really unacceptable i like usbs and it's just you know it's not existent on the xbox one we downgraded from four guys we need more actually i think we downgraded from three i mean from five if i'm not mistaken i'm not too sure right now but next up better cooling now they did do that with the xbox one it looks like they have a maybe 120 millimeter or that could be 140 not sure i don't know what size fan is underneath there but definitely i think the xbox original had like a 90 millimeter fan so they definitely did upgrade cooling but a bigger fan means less sound and the xbox one is you know it's sound you can hear it you can hear it from a while away but the xbox 360 was just ridiculous for the sound i'm glad that they beefed up the fan a little bit but i'd like to see maybe a 200 millimeter right on the top just i think that'd be good and if yeah you know it, yeah i'd like to see a 200 millimeter i think that'd be good or kind of introduce some form of water cooling that would be nice too next up come stock with a paddled controller i think they're gonna start doing that now with the elite controller as you guys know you can get the elite bundle which does have a hybrid drive in it and it comes with a paddled controller next up i want to see a compact design i think something i know with all these parts that i'm asking for it can't be too compact but i would like to see instead of you going up in size like tall wise a little bit more out to the side maybe but you know i mean it's all up to them they're gonna decide what the size is and what can hold all of this stuff so it's really up to them next eight gigabytes of ram now i'm not sure i think the xbox one has four so a double would be nice but have ram slot um you know uh, upgradable that that's not too much to ask for either just maybe just you can take out the two four gigabytes that they install stock in the xbox x i don't know what we we're gonna call this i don't have a name for it but something where you can take out that ram and it, like if you just need more ram throw some more ram in there next out two hdmi out so if you already know this console comes with an hdmi in and an hdmi out i don't make use of the hdmi in i think it's just kind of silly i mean i don't have uh, a tv that i'd like to put into my xbox and watch on my monitor i'd rather watch it on the tv but i do understand for people that like have this in their living room or something why they would need it in but the two hdmi outs is for strictly recordings and streaming only i think because i my monitor my bank you has two hdmi outs and i plug my <clears throat> my elgato up into one of the hdmi outs and um then the other one to um oh no it has one hdmi out and two hdmi ins i'm sorry i have my xbox in the in and i have my elgato in the out so i can have latency free from the monitor next up in this is the last thing is a more stable operating system now as you guys know the xbox and the playstation's operating system is not that stable you'll be like reading the message and it won't load you'll try to load a game and it'll crash i just want something that's going to work the first time so there you have it that is my design that's my brand new xbox so <clears throat> make sure you guys comment i really really want to see you guys comment i love reading the comments like i said before and i want to see what you guys can come up with maybe i forgot something maybe you guys want to see something maybe you want to make your ideal we i don't know so <clears throat> let me know down below and like i said whoever makes the best console down below definitely will get their spotlight on the channel about a week later i'm going to leave this video up for a week and then i'll be coming back with the results like a follow-up video hopefully you guys enjoyed this so before i do leave i'm going to tell you why i'm making this i kind of already discussed it in the uh, uh previous video but i don't think our consoles are going to last that long i mean it's only 1080p and black ops 3 stutters in the campaign if you've played it you can tell definitely that the graphics card inside which is not a dedicated graphics card is integrated and it's just it struggles guys and uh, it's a very pc demanding game but 
If you guys want me to, which I am going to do it even if you don't want me to, I will be building about a thousand dollar computer. And from that video and from this video, let me know if you want to see any other kind of specifications like a five hundred dollar computer or whatever you guys have. Come up with something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Aaron and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.